Chef Cell was recorded on a cell phone in front of a fake audience. Hey guys, Chef Cell right here. <laughs> yes, Chef Cell right here. Chef Cell's crazy cooking show that is here on YouTube. And I'm Chef Cell's crazy cooking show now on Instagram and on Facebook. Come on over, say hi, try my recipes, tell me how it worked out. But remember, only good comments. <laughs> <laughs> so look, we're going around the country. The 50 most Googled recipes by state. We're going alphabetically. We're deep into the ends now, right? Ends? New Hampshire. Now, I don't know if it's because it's Thanksgiving. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, by the way. I don't know if it's because it's Thanksgiving time or they just really want to eat this stuff. But they asked for the recipe for a butternut squash and pear soup. So it's great. So it's great. Look, I'm going to get right into it. This one's pretty quick. So pay attention and remember, subscribe right here, boom, and hit the bell. And again, happy Thanksgiving to all of you and to my fake audience who really are just a file on my desktop. <laughs> Large saucepan. I'm using a cast iron. You don't have to use a cast iron. And what you're going to do is basic ingredients besides the butternut squash and the pear that I cut up. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, this is easy. I just cut it the long way this butternut squash here. See, salt and peppered it, olive oil, brushed it on, cored out the gummy parts. Yeah, I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, put the oven on 400, and a lot of people say to put it this way, put the cut side down. Um, I didn't do that, I put the cut side up because I like the caramelization that you get. You don't get as much when you put it uh, cut side down. And uh, let it cool after about an hour, it, the fork has to go through it. Fork tender, we went through this, and that's pretty much the scoop. Let it cool, like I said. And um, we're going to chop that up. And we're going to cook it in here with... We have one medium yellow onion right here. Right here. See? Right there. Chop it up, you know, small. I have four pears. You want to obviously skin them, cut them up, core them first, chop them up. We're going to be mashing these up. I call it the outboard motor. You know what it is. Um, and uh, if you don't have one of those, you can put it in the blender, but I'll show you all that later. Two cloves of garlic, I went three, you can go two. And right here, we have about a teaspoon of grated fresh ginger, please. All right, so that's gonna be part of the cooking setup. And in with that, we have a tablespoon of curry powder. And for later, we're gonna cut up some chives and put it on top, make it look pretty. And what else do I have? We're gonna put some coconut cream in there stick it in there, mash it up. And we have four cups of bouillon. I'm using better than bouillon. You see, you put it in there. <laughs> four cups, I mix uh, hot water in there. And here's my outboard masha. See, this is by Cuisinart. This is a good one. You don't have to get a great one, but if you don't have one, you're gonna put it in a blender after you cook everything together. So when you chop all these things up, you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to make sure everything's the same size. Just cut it up, you know, about a half inch because you're going to be twirling it around in that sucker. So let me cut this up and then I'm going to start, uh, you know, sauteing my onions and my garlic and things like that in here. Matter of fact, I'll start that now and then I'll cut that up and then we'll just build it. We'll build it together, okay? Happy Thanksgiving. Woo! See? That was easy, right? What did you do? Nothing. You sat there in your freaking chair. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I scooped this thing out, this butternut squash, right out of that skin. She comes right out on you, Johnny. Remember, fork tender on that stuff when you cook it. It's going to be tough to get out of here. And I chopped it up. A lot of it just got mushed, which is great because we're going to mush it anyway. So it's pre-mushed. I have my whipping cream, and this is the bouillon that I used. I'll stick it over here for now, but I made four cups, see? And if you have to buy four cups in a liquid form, then do so, Russo. See? There you go. Okay. The balancing knack there with the knife there. The knife is there because now I have this medium heat going. It's just nice and toasty here. Thanksgiving Eve, 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 Eve. 
extra virgin olive oil. You can use uh, avocado if you want. A couple of tablespoons. And get that chopped onion, that medium yellow onion, get it in there. I had this thing go in this pan, so it's going to sizzle right up as I stick it in there. Be careful, don't splatter. Low to the pan. That's my fifth book. I'm not my sixth. I don't know. <laughs> Low to the pan, get it in. And this is the time you want to start your seasoning in layers. So I'm going to layer in a little salt. I'm going to bring, it's going to bring out the liquids of this onion and also flavor it, duh. And uh, fresh ground pepper, as much as you want, you know, eighth of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, all that stuff, all right, good. Spatula mix. So once these soften up, not quite see-through, translucent, like those old bathroom windows we spoke about in a couple of earlier shows ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me get this going. And after these soften up, we're gonna put our garlic, our curry powder, and our ginger in here. Let that fragrance itself, give that about a minute. Oh man, everything toasts together. This is a really great recipe, yeah. Hope you have time to go out and get the stuff, right? Because uh, you're probably gonna be watching this a couple of days before Thanksgiving. But if not, just make it for the weekend. You're gonna have people over, right? I mean, it's so nice. You have the free lotus. I mean, the family. <laughs> you make a pot of this and you keep it on the freaking stove on low. And they can come by and just take a thing and watch some football. All right, so I'm going to let this go. And then I'm going to add, like I said, that garlic and the ginger. Get that in there. Let it fragrance up. A couple, one or two minutes is fine. Do not burn the garlic. Then we're going to get the pears in there. These four pears that I peeled and I gutted. I gutted these pears and chopped them up. Yeah. And then we're going to use my favorite machine. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now I have the million times mentioned garlic and ginger. I'm putting this in after the onions because you want the onions to come down a little bit. It takes it a while. And, these, and, and I got to tell you, this garlic and ginger, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna burn if you don't watch them. That's why you put it in last, or actually second. And just wait until you kind of, you'll smell it. It's gonna be like, holy mackerel, man. So let's get this in. Now to kind of, can I say tamp down the cooking of that garlic and ginger once you smell it? This is when I'm gonna add I told you, my curry powder. You're going to toast the curry powder with that stuff in there. Smell it already. It's great. Great. Now, you're going to find that it's sticking to the bottom because that, uh, that, that pasty stuff we put in there with that powder, it kind of forms like this, this not a crust, but a really a, a gluey kind of substance. But that's why we wait until we put in this four cups of broth. Now, um, we're using vegetable broth. It's just what we do. Um, we have, uh, we're going to serve this actually for Thanksgiving. So we have uh, some people that are vegetarian. So we got vegetarian and it's better than bouillon stuff. I'm telling you, there's something to it. There is something to it. So this is going in now. And now we deglaze the pan. That's just scraping off the stuff off the bottom. Don't get all scared. You know, they try to impress you on the, the network shows, which I wish I was on. <laughs> And they say big words, you know. I'll say them once in a while because I have to feel good about myself once in a while, but uh, you really don't have to use those words. Just scrape it off. It's a liquid, right? So it's gonna wash it off a little bit, but <laughs> I'm telling you, anytime you have that, that caramelization and that, that cookery, yeah, the cookery that you're doing with these elements, <laughs> right? That's when it's gonna taste good. So now that that's going round and round and that smells great in here, this is where I'm going to put in my pears and my squash, carefully using the cutting board. You probably want to put it in a bowl first, but I am a pro. And that's it. Everything's in now. And now you just want to bring this to a boil 
Yeah, the squash already started to break up. Bring it to a boil, and once it comes to a nice boil, you're on medium now, right? Put it down to low or medium low. You just want the least amount of bubbles to be coming up. That's a good simmer. And once everything softens in about a half hour, then you're gonna put your motorboat in there. Yeah, it's great. All right, so I'll see you soon. So you guys gotta let this cool down five, 10 minutes before you start, you know, put. <laughs> Anyway, before you start putting this in there and it's gonna splatter on you, I mean, let me be the guy that makes the TikTok video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's been about 35, 40 minutes. And you can could, could tell by even just looking at the pears, they dig kind of rounded edges and they start looking a little grainy. Uh, you're not gonna get them like sponge soft, that's for sure. But they're gonna get soft. So I think this is just about the time I'm gonna use this. See, my motorboat. Okay, immersion blender, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm gonna just put that in here, squish it around and see what we got. Looking good so far. All right, so as you saw, everything was pretty much simmered down, literally and figuratively. Now the trick with these things is you can't, you can't just kind of like uh, put it all the way to the bottom. You gotta coat the bottom, then slowly up to the top, to the surface, and then just, you know, slowly go up and, <laughs> you know what I mean. So let's go here. And we're gonna give it a shot. Put it into the soup first and just try it, you know, a couple of spurts first. All right, looking good. And you can keep it on, just go around. Okay, so it's very, very thick, but remember, we're gonna put some cream in here. I'm just gonna lay this down here for a second. I have some, uh, this is whipping cream. This is coconut whipping cream. You can use the regular whipping cream uh, from the cows, you know, moo moo and all that. But this stuff, the mixture of this and those flavors, sweet against savory you can't beat it you know uh regular whipping cream there's really no taste in there but this coconut stuff you don't have to use it but i recommend it and they have coconut whipping cream now so it's really got that base man so i'm gonna show you what this looks like and then i'm gonna pour the cream in mix it around then reheat it and give it a taste Whew. now if you want it thinner thinner than this after you put the cream in, you got to take a look at it you're putting a half a cup of that cream in here you can put a little bit more if you want, especially if it's flavored like that coconut cream. And uh, if it's still, you know, a little bit too thick for your liking, then you put a little more broth in there. That's all to you, you know, maybe like a half a cup, a quarter of a cup at a time until you're like, yeah, voila, baby. Now, when you serve this, we're going to cut up some chives. And uh, we're also going to put some of that balsamic reduction syrup. You can have uh, your guests just kind of pour it over out of a little decanter. Can I call it a decanter? So I have the whole can in here. This is about a cup and a half. I'm going to put about a half a cup in here. Just, you know, pour and stir. Pour. Butternut squash, coconut cream, and of course, pear. And a little balsamic vinegar and chives soup. That covers everything. Look at that. Got to taste it. Got to get in there. You have to make this. I'm coming to your house. I'm going to make sure you make it. I'm telling you. Woo! Wow. Look at that. A thing of beauty. Just like me, Instagram, and this delicious soup. I'll be watching you! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please follow me. Look over there. See? Boom. Subscribe. Like. Come over to Instagram, Chef Sells Crazy Cooking Show. Come over to Facebook and YouTube. All Chef Sells Crazy Cooking Show. And all over the internet, you'll see me pop up. Yeah, I got these little reels going now because I'm smart. <laughs> anyway, thank you, New Hampshire. You guys are great. And I can't wait for the next one on our 50 most Googled recipes. I'll see you next time.